All right, today is the day. I'm gonna walk you through step-by-step -step how to install the Eurogreen system following their installation guide, showing you how, how it's done, at least here. Your mileage may vary. Um, I did a video uh, going over what they send you versus what you need to buy. And of course, one of the things that I recommended is getting some friends to help you. Got a good friend here, this is Ryan from the Highlander Lawn. You've seen him here before. He helped out with the putting green in the backyard. He's here to help me today. He is the sprinkler expert. He has more experience with ear green than I do. He helped Jeremy of the greener lawn install his ear green system. So really bringing out all the smart guys here. Ooh. Been working with Justin the Lawn Whisperer, getting some advice from him. We've got some install expertise here. We should be good to go. Minimal problems, hopefully, fingers crossed, we'll see. Here we go. All right, so step one of the install guide says to test your water pressure, and that's really important. Uh, there needs to be adequate pressure to support the sprinkler heads. So for me, I already know what my pressure is. It's usually around 80 PSI. Sometimes it's even more than that. Uh, so I'm not gonna do a test now. I have the system already off because it's been shut off for the winter. I figure now is the best time to install the new system. Then once we have everything put together, we're ready to turn it on, then we'll turn it on. Everything should be good to go. The next step they uh, recommend doing is just double checking to make sure that your sprinkler head placement is correct. So we'll bring out each head, we're gonna place it in the yard, and then we're gonna measure and make sure that we're within the 30 to 35 foot range on all sides and go from there. All right, we've got them all lined out. We have double checked our measurements. We're gonna be just fine. We're actually gonna have, we're gonna be fine. So don't even have anything that's really flirting with the maximum throw the rate, which is 35 feet. I think the average is like 16 to 20 feet is where we're at here. Um, we've got four heads here currently. I have one extra one on the way. It's actually delivering today, which is clutch. Thank you, Ear Green. Uh, that's gonna go in that back corner over there and it's gonna throw around, because this is what Ear Green does, it's so cool, it's gonna throw around that uh, bed there in the middle of the lawn. So we will trench and rough everything in for that, and then when it shows up here this afternoon, we'll be out here when it gets here. Uh, FedEx, saw, I know when FedEx comes, so we'll just be able to throw it right into the mix here. So five sprinkler heads total, we're ready to go. Let's do some sod cutting and trenching. Let's get our hands dirty. We have trenched as far as we're gonna trench. We've actually decided to leave this section here because what we did was we actually found the main line. Um, the main sprinkler line goes right there. Almost hit it, got really lucky. Um, it goes right here and we didn't wanna take any risks with hitting it for real on this stretch right here. So we're gonna hand dig this little stretch, won't take very long. The nice thing to keep in mind is just the simplicity of the system where you don't need um, 12 to 15 heads for like 2,000 square feet of yard. I need five and they're all coming off the same line for the most part. Um, if I didn't have this kidney bean shaped garden right here, we wouldn't even need this little tangent. So we've got this main stretch that comes out here and then we've got this little, little bit right there and that's it. 
everything's gonna go right off of that line. All right, so we are gonna go take a lunch break and then we're gonna come back and finish trenching all this out. And then, yeah, we'll start laying some pipe. A little later. I've been working on um, getting the trenches dug for the controller wire, which is actually coming through the garage here, through the foundation wall. Went ahead, took a couple minutes and hammer drilled through that. Came out the other side, no problem. Came down through here, trenched all this out. We're gonna go underneath the walkway here, come out down the side. And I found a pop-up emitter that I totally forgot about. And you wouldn't believe the roots that were just living in there. Um, it had clearly been hit with an aerator, so I went ahead and put a new one on there. And we'll try and keep that surfaced so that we can maintain it properly. And it can, more importantly, drain properly from this downspout right here. So got all of that trenched. So this is where the controller wire is gonna come into the actual lineup here, right there. We're back. We had a couple days of rain, had Easter Sunday, family time, and now we're here to finish the deal. So we've just got to button things up, really. Uh, we've got the wiring going in. We're gonna fish the wire through. We're gonna finish gluing the water line and we'll hook up the actual sprinklers. We'll do a test, make sure nothing breaks, make sure nothing leaks, and then we can start backfilling. All right, so we're connected. Connected. Piped. Water line, we're piped. We're piped. This is exciting. I know. Uh, water line's connected. Wiring is connected. We're ready to flush out the lines, do a pressure test. I've even got the controller wired up and ready to go and mounted in the garage. So we are very close. Let's see if everything holds <laughs> when we put water into the system. No leaks, this is great news. Now, we're gonna actually flush the lines out and make sure that any debris yes. is out. So how, how are we gonna do this? Let's see <laughs> if I can get it to turn it this direction and at least put it into the... Put it into the lawn, mm -hmm. yeah. Woo! <laughs> How's that for pressure? So we're just gonna work our way down, downstream here and flush this out. The installation guide actually says to do this for three minutes. That's a lot of water, especially at that high pressure. I, I would do it for maybe 20, 30 seconds and that should be fine. It really depends. Hey! <laughs> it really depends on how long your line is for how long you need to flush it out. We're, we're going maybe a couple hundred feet here, so it won't take long to flush out. Woo! Everything is put back together and I am ready to start customizing the spray pattern for each of the five sprinklers out in the front yard. So we put everything back together. Uh, Ryan helped me get the uh, valve boxes for each sprinkler head installed and get the actual sprinkler heads set in the ground. Very thankful to him for coming and helping with this project. It was not something that could have been done as fast as it was without help like his. So thank you to Ryan. Please be sure to go and check out his channel. I will link it down in the description below. Um, when we pulled the wiring, um, as I mentioned and as you've seen, um, I did put wiring inside PVC to give it a little extra protection. Uh, it made it a lot easier to use electrical fishing tape 
uh, to pull it through. So uh, what we did was we used the convenience of the tape that I had, which has a hook on the end of it. And the wiring comes rubber banded. And we actually used the rubber band to our advantage uh, to avoid having to tape it uh, with electrical tape to pull it through. So we just hooked, essentially hooked the wire onto the electrical tape, pulled it through the PVC, good to go. And then another thing I want to point out too, as we um, backfilled the valve boxes, um, we did go the extra mile. We used some landscape fabric and some gravel to give it a little more protection, help it drain a little bit better if water gets in there and kind of keep things out of it. So that way when we do get in there, uh, the only obstacle in the way is going to be any extra wire that was tucked into the box. So pretty simple process overall. The only thing you need to overcome are any obstacles like rocks in your soil. So that was the biggest thing for us. I am so happy to have this all finished. Uh, it was after dark last night that I was still out here. Uh, I raked up the matted down areas the best I could and then I brought the leaf blower out here and then just kind of blew off everything the best that I could. And it looks a lot cleaner and it looks a little bit more put back together. So today I'm gonna go ahead and mow and get my first fertilizer application down, get started with the season. So that's gonna do it for this one. The next video on my ear green system is gonna go over actually programming the shapes of the sprinklers and having fun with that. That's gonna be a fun video to really show off what these things can do and start learning together how they work. So thank you so much for watching. If you have any questions, please leave a comment down below and um, I will be sure to answer them, whether in the comment section or in a future video. Uh, I do have an email list if you are not already subscribed. Uh, and if you don't already know, I do monthly drawings from my active email subscribers and I give away free stuff. So be sure to check that out as well if you're not already subscribed to the channel of course consider subscribing got a lot going on here with irigreen and lots of other uh, projects ahead so that'll go ahead and do it for this one thank you again so much for watching i'll see you next time